everybody, this is Jeffrey Lyles. You're listening to Lyles Movie Files. This is take 27, give or take, of this opening. I'm always trying to get this down perfectly. But on this show, my cousin Dwayne Brickhouse is joining us. We're talking 80s, 90s cartoons that you have probably forgotten about and need to rediscover on Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, etc. We're also going to provide the CW superhero shows some helpful hints on how they can improve their shows for next season. This year has been really inconsistent. Probably the only one that's been great was Black Lightning. And the rest of them all across the board need some work. So we decided to put our different opinions together and come up with three ways that they can fix these shows for next season. So I hope you enjoy the show and I'll catch you on the back end. It's May the 9th, 2018. This is Jeffrey Lyles. You're listening to another episode, action packed, full to the brim of Lyles Movie Files. Because hearing five voices just is not enough. I decided to get one more voice to add on to this show. My cousin, Dwayne Brickhouse, he has been one of my main influencers for so much pop culture. Dwayne, how are you doing today? I'm good, man. Thanks for having me on the show. Definitely. Uh, let's let's bring in the rest of the crew. Chief, how you doing, man? Hey, what's up, John? I'm good. Good. I I watched a couple of TV shows. They left me in a certain kind of way, so we're going to talk about that real quick. Gunner, what's up on your way, man? What's good? What's good? Chilling. Not literally, because it's kind of warm here in Maryland right now. It's about uh, to hit 90s. Uh, on Saturday, so yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be real up here soon. Little brother Jace, how are you? I'm good, bro. How are you today? I'm I'm sorry. I know where how you feeling. You watch this week's superhero show, so we will talk and vent. We we'll get through this together. Yes, it's a safe place here. Jay King, what's up with you? Oh, brother, sorry about the delay. I've had my finger on the mute button for a while. I'm doing fantastic, man. How's everybody? Living the dream. Excellent. Excellent. I just need to get right into this right away because we've got a big show, too much to talk about. So last night it was one o'clock and I wasn't I was at that that point in time where you're kind of like I could go to sleep or I could watch something on the DVR. And since last night was Tuesday and I missed it, I said, I'm going to watch Flash because, you know, Flash is nearing its end. It's got three more episodes before the season finale. Things are coming together with DeVoe. His wife rolled on him. Things are getting chaotic. And this episode was totally different. Nothing at all of what I thought was going to happen. We have what I best describe as a time killer RPG quest where nothing happened. And it was crazy. And I'm like, this is so stupid. And I, I've watched I've watched it. I was texting Jace as I was suffering through it, and he was like, I just fast forward through parts. And I was like, I I need to watch the whole thing because I know there's going to be something important that comes on this episode. And then the episode ended, and I was like, wow, it's 2 o'clock. That was an hour or 45 minutes because I did fast forward through the commercials that I'm just not getting back. And then I started watching Supergirl and this afternoon, and I was like, boy. Supergirl is in a really interesting place, too. Supergirl is crazy because Supergirl, I hate everything going on in Supergirl's little universe. So her, the drama with mon and Emra, the whole farce it is, their legion of superheroes, blows. But what's awesome and great is that they've got all these other cool subplots. So they've got uh, Wynn, they've got James... They've got Sam. They've got Lena trying to fix Rain. And that's been great. But, man, everything else with Supergirl sucks. So I, I was, I just got so frustrated. I asked the boys, I need y'all to come up with ways to fix these shows. Because we've got quite a few. All of them have been renewed for next year. So we've got Supergirl, Flash, Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow, and Black Lightning. So a ton of shows. And all of them have to get their moment in time here. So we're trying to figure out how to fix these shows because I don't know if I can do six six shows or five, whatever I just said, five shows at 22 episodes, unless they fix some major things. So I'm just going to get going here. 
And I'm just going to roll with, let's see, uh, Jace, how do we fix these shows? I'm, I, since, since we got a large team here tonight, I'm not, I came up with 10, and I'm just going to go with my, my main three. Like, one, they have to go with, like, they can't do these one season long. I mean, most of them, unless you're Arrow with Prometheus or Slate, you can't do the one bad guy the whole season. It just unless you got a real good storyline, it doesn't work. Like even at Marvel shows, they understand like, hey, you got to have these side plot villains that mean just enough to tie them up for an episode or two or three. But you can't go. You're just stretching if you go 22 episodes and you can't figure out how to get the one hu- how to get rid of the one human where you could just get an arrow through them and you'd be done with your whole problem. Good deal. Uh, they got to get uh, if you if you don't if you don't do that well get rid of the stupid uh, throwaway character I mean the side character romances because they're always five episodes I mean they basically equate to about five episodes and then they're done by the next season anyway so just the whole CW love triangle things just get rid of those and let's see what this. Oh yeah, I know, and, and this is something that you, you kind of pointed out uh, last week, I think, Josh. It was like when they had earlier this season in CW in uh, Flash, you had the trial of Barry Allen. He got convicted. Then in Arrow, you had the trial of Oliver Queen. It's like why the heck are we going in this different shows having the same plot device? Like that's just gotta go. Well, uh, and I'm sorry, I'm gonna stick. Three. Oh, so we're no, 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 okay. The side, the side kick. Like they got to get rid of all these. That's gag-on four. Side that's kicks. four. You're taking I, all the stuff. I see it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. That's it. That, I, I, I advocate to others to. Yeah, I'm sure you guys are gonna hit some of these lists on that yeah, list. Though. You can't go so. first and then say ten. All right. Let's roll with Gunner. How about you? Is it me, Gunner. Oh, yeah, Gunner. Yeah. Woo. Boy. Okay. Jason hit the nail on the head with one of them. Side romances. I don't mind them. They should not take over more than 20 minutes of every episode. It's ridiculous. That is one thing. I'm going to point to the solution maker. Arrow struggled, and that's being nice. Season 3, 4, 5. Struggled. No, 3 and 4, excuse me, because the last one was 5. We're on 6 now, right? Yeah. Yeah. 3 and 4 were like, I mean, they felt like, three different seasons because they were so long and so silly and so annoying, right? They fixed major issues by getting rid of the Olicity, taking over the whole thing. It's like, yes, you can have them together, but you don't need the entire plot for half a season around them. They fixed that. Every other show needs to do that, especially Supergirl. Two. That's just point two. Mm-hmm. Point two, or point one, point two. You need, in this case, of Supergirl. You need to focus on the superhero. The show is called Supergirl. I don't care about no made up cat. This, this, you can't just you, you can't pull the Marvel X Men and just use a character Guardian and just throw him on another character, Jimmy Olsen, <laughs> and just saying this is for TV because then one knows the comic book. That's dumb. I'm still pissed about that. Yes. I don't care about when. I I just don't. He could have died in that one episode with the mind freak. Cool. I don't care about dude's dad, former Mantis. I don't care about, you know, uh, Mark, you know, uh, uh, John's dad, man. I just don't. You're Martian Manhunter. You are more powerful than most of the people in that room. You don't need a dad in there to kind of say, hey, he's doing the whole Professor X thing and Logan thing to make that plot. Sorry, that was the last episode I saw Supergirl because I just didn't have the fortitude to watch further. I'm like, what am I, two episodes behind in, at that one? Or is that the first Yeah, one? you're two, you're two I'm bad. two behind? Yep. Ooh, ooh, because well, you know why? Mondays wasn't I'm, bad. The what? Mondays they do the cape bad. trick because they spent a whole effing episode on the cape trick which I know Lonnie went in on a previous episode. I finally watched it, and I'm like, everything he said was correct. I don't – what? 
the best part of that episode you know, was Mono and is finally finally in a Mono uniform. Ridiculous. So yeah, we need to focus on the superhero. Period. We don't need all the emotional space. We don't need karaoke. We don't need fifty side characters and their fifty subplots off of them. Off of them, I, I'm good. We, I mean, I don't mind subplots here and there that still lead back to the main plot. That's what made Arrow 1 and 2 good. That's what made Flash 1 and 2 good and 3 good. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But the subplots that don't add anything to make it more soap opera-y because it's a CW, no, I'm done. No, Wait. no way. So you're, you're, you don't care about Wynn's girlfriend? I don't even know who that is. His alien that? girlfriend that they it. spent so long on last season. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no one cares. So, yeah, no one cares about that. Yeah. Were you yeah, dying? No. Is that your three? No, I think I had one more. Um, more crossovers would be wonderful. Okay. Not annoying crossovers where, you know, Arrow just says, hey, I have an idea, and you just see a flash blur, <laughs> you know, flashes Uber all of a sudden. I'm not talking about that situation. I'm talking about an actual like, hey, let's have some more crossovers because that's what that's honestly what they're missing this season. You know, after they did the big crisis thing, I guess they've been laying off. But mm-hmm. other than maybe like, oh, Oliver's on trial. Look at this newspaper. But other than that, there has, there hasn't been really real crossovers other than the crisis. So I think more crossovers would help, but not in the annoying way, in the way that helps the plot, mm-hmm. like they used to do. Mm-hmm. I think it managed so, over with less. All in all, back to basics is basically my 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 stick. Back right. to basics. Good deal. Chief, how about you? Uh, I guess they just start off by reading a comic. <laughs> uh or or Wikipedia, learning what the hell powers the character has. <laughs> Blue Star. Uh Blue Star is perfect, perfect, perfect example. The blue star, and and um, sometimes putting as we're watching. I don't know if this ever happened to you. Sometimes you watch Supergirl and you be like, "Well, why didn't you use your super speed, or why didn't you?" You know what I mean? Like you're going through all this conflict, but you have other powers. Um, things that make sense. I don't. I don't know. Like, as they're rewriting the script or watching the 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 the, the, the pre post production episode, I'm like, oh, that, that doesn't make sense. Like, actually, go over what you've done and and try to make it make sense. Because a lot of things in the episodes, you you just be like, what? And you're sitting there dumbfounded by by their lack of effort on 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 the the episode itself. Um, and uh, there's a, a lot of emotional superheroes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and you know the funny thing about this? Like, I, I was thinking about Flash the other day. I was watching it. And, of course, you know, as we know, they've taken another L, right? <laughs> so this is like, I don't know, the 25th L this season. And, um, 21 episodes. Yeah. Uh, but, but they take, sometimes they take several L's a, a, a show. Um, and I was thinking about, oh, well, if you can't beat them, what, where the hell are the rest of the superheroes? Like, you do the crossover, you think at some point they would have went and been like, hey, Supergirl, uh, this person has killed everybody, you know, our friends, and we can't stop them. You, I mean, they've, they've literally gone back and gotten the ice guy. They've gotten people that, they, that they're that they enemies with to come and help them out. And I'm like, well, wouldn't this be a perfect time to go to Supergirl or some other bot, you know what I mean? Somebody you work with and be like, yo, we need help over here. Uh, you know, at some point you want to stop taking an L. But they just keep going strong with it. Um, it is what it is, man. I, you know, so they they can improve with just making them characters do things that make sense. Ah, uh, you know, what are you gonna do? Well, indeed. Was was that all yours? 
Yeah, that's it. I'm done. All right. Javon, how about you? Honestly, like you said, they're at episode 21, right? Mm-hmm. So these seasons seem to be very long. And when you got long seasons, you get to those filler episodes that don't really add anything to the, the season itself or a story. You get lost in storytelling because you're trying to fill out a whole season. Keep your season short and tight. 12 episodes, 15 episodes. What they also should try to do, we, hey, look, Fox gets rid of shows all the time. They're probably going to get rid of Gotham because for what it's worth, it was on their Monday night block of program, and now it's been pushed to the graveyard of Thursday. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and see if you can pick up uh, Gotham and resurrect Smallville. I mean, we're resurrecting all of these shows. Bring back Smallville and use that at Gotham, uh, Smallville, Batman, Superman, Power Hour on one of these days uh, to fill in these shortened seasons. Now, if you're going to have shortened seasons, that means you're not going to stretch from, let's say, September or October, whenever these shows premiere, till May, June. Go ahead and focus on slimming down, streamlining your episodes or your, the, the number of uh, episodes in your season so you can tell more cohesive stories. <laughs> well, no, hear me out. No, 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 no. Hear me out. It the was great until that, season eight. <laughs> it was long. Well, no. I, the boy had ten seasons. I didn't know season that. I didn't know. No, season that seven. Season seven with uh, Veritas. Like, when they started yeah. going to Veritas bullshit, that's when that yeah. season went off the rails. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Season seven. Were yeah. Fun. It went off the rails after that. Yeah. You know so, the reason I say bring it back? So that, and this is just hypothesis, if the CW was really trying to invest in, in, in having DC, uh, the DC universe on their network, right, if you want to eliminate these bad shows, these bad runs and seasons, I said, like, shorten their seasons, bring in Gotham, buy the rights to Gotham from uh, Fox, because Fox can't be behind it. They're never behind any of their shows, if it ain't Simpsons or uh, Family Guy right now, right? Um, buy buy Gotham and then run a Gotham and super and bring back um Smallville, run Gotham and Smallville on one of them nights and shorten their uh, seasons. Shorten them seasons to twelve, fifteen episodes. I think that will work. I think it will work. Or, or at least if you don't bring back Smallville, a Superman show or some kind of Superman show. Mm-hmm. Now, I mean, the, the problem is... Go ahead. I was gonna say the problem with having a Superman show is they it would run into the same issue they have with if Arrow's better if let's say the, the Superman show on TV is better than the Superman movies then you're like why the fuck why isn't he Superman like <laughs> right right yeah I mean like because that's that's the reason why Barry Allen and Justice are like who the fuck is this guy like we don't need him we got right. like, Flash like, I'm like we already got a Flash like what is this Who's all you have to do is show like, up. That star lads like no. but did anybody get pissed that it took he was still he was still running in the tenth season? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, he didn't he didn't fly until the last He didn't fly until forty <laughs> fifth minute like the last episode, right? Forty fifth minute of the actual last episode of the entire tenth season series. Are you serious? Of the That's super no, 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 no. Yes. Two yes. clues. He flew one oh, other time, time, but it wasn't like really, he really. floated really. while dancing. No, no, no. That does not count. <laughs> Correct. You're right. You're right. That's terrible. I was going to try to sneak that in and say you didn't know. <laughs> that no, is terrible. He floated while dancing. And then he flew for real flu at the 45th, 5th minute, 48th minute, really, of, of the last episode of the entire And, and it was a whack ass flight. <laughs> and it was a wacky flight. He got knocked up. Up. He was like, yeah. oh, I'm, I'm already up here. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, that dark side fight was pretty shit. Yeah, you're right. Well, it was, it was God, like, I mean, when he just moved the moon, that Bama moved the moon like the tick. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> what? Dude. I'm trying to tell you. That's why when I was in Smallville, I was like, God, that joint made me so goddamn mad. I said, I watched all this shit for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we were saying. I'm like, young, we didn't even get to see the full costume, man. Yeah, I, I, you I, know. I, I, I get on. I mean, like, he didn't even put on at least the shirt. Like, he literally just opened up his like shirt and like, hey, here's the the S on it. Hey, it counts, right? Like, dude, when you literally walk, like go out into the moon, 
You don't even have, like, they just literally had it from the neck up. It's like, come on. Y'all ain't really going to put a shirt on? I'm like, what the hell is this? Then they had it from the distance. All the like, years, how y'all not get the right? All the y'all, years. Not get, y'all get the rights to everything else. Bizarro, the characters, freaking Green Arrow, everything. That must you ain't got the rights to the whole costume with him on the co- Like, I'm sure Tom Weller was like, yo, why? I went through all of this and I ain't wearing the daggone costume. Yeah, it can, it was, he didn't want. He didn't want to have it like the tights on. It was like no tights, no flights. Like that was kind of their mantra. Wow. And, he okay. really did not and you it. know what? Have we heard from him since? No, he's the one time. He's on, he plays, he plays on Lucifer. He's on Lucifer. He he plays a fat dude at Comic Con because nobody watches Lucifer. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man! I watch Lucifer. That's man. Hateful. <laughs> yeah, that's, Ain't nobody watching that Superman, Superman. And if they are, nobody this recognize dude. him as Superman. Yeah, I'm like, cool. And I'm going to be honest, too, man. So, Look, I you watch all that time, right? Talk, I told a chick that went to high school with him. I was like, yo, he's on Lucifer. She's like, what? She went to high school with the cat. She didn't recognize her brother on Lucifer, man. Damn. Come on, man. Yeah. He looks, he, looks, he looks like Tom Weller. I mean, like, look, I, I saw fat, it. He he's looks, not unrecognizable. He looks like a fat, bald Tom Weller. You look like Tom Weller who plays Tom Weller in the future on Back to the Future. (laughs) (laughs) You look like like Dave Chappelle skit (laughs) Tom Weller in the future. Oh, my God. He never never knocked down Chloe. Never knocked, well, maybe. uh, Maybe. In real life, who knows? He might have a brand. He looks like a different dude. <laughs> she put that brand on him. What's her what's her real name? What's her initials? What's her real name? <laughs> I'm making a real man sitting up for you. But yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's cool. I don't need heat vision. All right, Dwayne. What you got? All right, first I'm gonna stack on uh Gunner from earlier. I think they can do a little bit better of just bringing people on. Um, not every week, but just every now and then to just kind of show this connected universe. Um, also, I'm a big fan of Black Lightning this year. I've enjoyed it, but they need to fix some of the overacting, in my opinion. Like when Thunder puts on her costume and starts running around, um, I kind of lose focus because I feel like she's really overacting that part. Maybe that's just me, but they need and then I guess the third thing for me is with Arrow, I think they just need to go ahead and call that Batman because I personally think it's the best version of Batman I've ever seen. And then they can just get rid of Gotham and just move that way. That's pretty good, too. Here, here's mine. And I, I managed to cross out some things to you guys. I don't like the experts on everything. So when Supergirl started, and I know it just seems like we're piling on Supergirl, but I'll, I'll, I'll work two examples in. When Supergirl started, Alex was like the kicktail DEO operative. Now she's like the doctor, the freaking lawyer. She does everything. And I don't know what the problem was with her just being the, the best agent in the, in the group. And now with Flash, we've got Iris, who started off as a journalist. She comes up with these masterful ways for them to fight. Barry, vibrate so the gas will get through you. And I think it just takes away from the heroes because they look like morons, especially Barry, because that dude can't do anything without them telling Barry, the guy's running ahead of you. If you go faster, you can catch him. Thanks, Tom. And it's just goofy. I just want the heroes to act smarter and find different uses for the for the teams another thing is stop with the teams they've made iris felicity and i think they had so much success with arrow and the team arrow and everybody gets a costume it's like they're oprah you get a costume you get a superpower and everybody has a power now i just like the the streamlined version of arrow season one where it was one dude out there fighting criminals by himself. And I kind of like when they worked in one person, whether it was Speedy or Black Canary. That's cool. I don't need everybody on Flash's crew to go out on every mission. It's like when they kill off Ralph, it's like, oh, who cares? They've got 40 other people they can go to. And whoever else they pull from another realm. And let's see, one thing that you guys did not say. Oh, the heroes don't kill. 
So I'm watching this episode of Supergirl, and I could apply this just as well to Flash, where the heroes spend all this time going, look, we're heroes, and we don't kill anybody. And then the bad guy makes them look like morons, because if they kill them, there are a million people that are still alive. So on Flash, all the heroes, or all the people with superpowers they were trying to save, got killed, because they couldn't stop the vote. And I don't know how many people on Arrow have died because they've let the dragon go around instead of just using one well-placed arrow in ending his threat, which I guess would kill off the season. But they wouldn't have to worry about this guy amazingly having control of everything in the city. So just just they need to make a better argument for the hero because they look really stupid telling their sidekicks or whoever we don't kill. So that that was I needed to get all that off my chest. And so last last week I was talking to Dwayne and we were talking about our show where we were pitching our 80s movies or 80s cartoons that should be made into blockbuster movies. So we were talking and we were hyped up. I was like, man, remember this? Remember this one? And it was like, you know, we just touched on it. But I love 80s cartoons and 90s cartoons. They were the absolute best. And today's kids, like I, I wake up randomly early on Saturday mornings and I turn on network TV and there's crap on. There's nothing cool. I remember I could get up at like six o'clock or six thirty on Saturday when I would do that because now that seems crazy. But I could get up at six on Saturday and I could sit in front of that TV watching great cartoons until about twelve thirty. And then on the weekdays I could, you know, during the summer, I could get up, watch something at seven o'clock till 9 30 and then two o'clock in the afternoon right till five o'clock and those were great shows and there were so many that i don't think i caught all of them because Dwayne was listening up stuff i'd never heard of so Dwayne, i'm going to give you the floor now and we're going to see how many of these shows we remember and you can talk about whichever ones you want all right i'm gonna start off with um which most likely is my my favorite show from the 80s that um when i brought up to jeff he didn't remember and that's Star Blazers. Does anyone remember Star Blazers? Yeah. No. The crickets. The oh, crickets yeah. are real. Are you kidding me? Yeah. No, no, no. Tell, tell, what's the premise of it? I think I do remember that. All right, so Star Blazers, um, something happened to the Earth, so everyone had to move underground. So someone, um, a different planet, had sent something, had sent an engine to help them get to the other side of the universe. They could get this pool that would clear out all of the um, all of the disaster on the Earth. So they were fighting. I believe it was called the Gamelons, and they had a ship called the Argo that looked like a boat. Yeah, it looked like a Titanic or something like that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and Derek Wildstar was the main guy. They had a captain. I can't remember the captain's right name right now. But the captain ended up dying. Derek Wildstar became the lead person. They wore costumes just like, you know, every other TV show from back then. So like a Voltron where, yeah, you know, like Voltron. Yeah. yeah, so they wore like a, you know, certain people, leadership wore white and red, um, you know, fighters wore black and yellow, stuff like that. I can't believe you guys. <laughs> I am hurt. Yeah. Well, you know, it's you know a 70s show, so isn't technically that's a 70s show. I'm looking it up now. Like ah. seventy nine. Seventy nine. Don't count. <laughs> I remember the show because they used to show that right before Voltron. What? Yeah. They used, it used to come on right before Voltron. Like right before Voltron's episode came on. He's come on. On the old WDCA twenty cartoon in the morning block that you watched before school. At 7 a.m., that Star Blazers used to come on, and then they went into Transformers, then G.I. Joe. I'm sorry, no, tra- no, it was uh, Star Blazers, then Transformers, Z. Transformers, G.I. Joe. Transor Z, that was another one. Yes. It was an afternoon. I, I've never heard of I've never heard of this thing. Man. No, you really did. Like, I, I mean, like, this, it wasn't just because I worked in a video school. I know you know this. No. We, we had to watch this show. No, we I, he, he Googled it last week, didn't yeah, remember it. At all. Really? Yeah, okay. I think you watch. You saw it from Suncoast, but I never remember watching this thing. Hey, I think all of you guys should go back and try to find some episodes of Star Blazers. They still hold up today, as much as any other okay. '80s show may. 
right. All right. Let me let me throw out one more before you pass it on to someone else. All right. All right. Galaxy Rangers. People don't remember Galaxy Rangers. I do. I, I vaguely remember Galaxy Rangers actually. <laughs> Galaxy Rangers had like this awesome theme song. And toys. They did. It was cool. They did. Their toys were yeah. dope. Uh, yeah. And then they had the original good guy that looked like a bad guy. The cool yeah. guy that everyone yeah. wanted. Yeah. Hard as hell. Yeah. That cat was Zach Fox. Oh, yeah. There you go. And they had the black guy and the girl. And, and the, the black, black guy. guy. Black guy. I do remember his name. Goose. Yep. Goose. Goose Man or something? Nico? Yeah, it was a Goose. Yep. Nico. What do you mean, Nico? That wasn't Nico? Who was Nico? Huh? I there is. A, was was it Nico the brother? Nah, I don't think so. I think he had more of a black name. Nah, Nico was the girl. Yeah, it was, I think Nico was Zachary the girl. Fox, oh, Nico know. was the girl. Uh, Doc was the black guy. Doc, and yeah. Shane Gooseman. Right, right, right. And yes, I'm holding the DVD box set in my hand right now. All right, break down, guys. <laughs> what was that about? For people who don't know. All right, so Galaxy Rangers was about a group of people that were... um chasing down these individuals that had been through some type of experiment. And so they were like super soldiers. Goose was one of those super soldiers. And then, of course, you know, the captain's wife had died, so he's trying to uh, bring back his wife and kid. And then they're just uh, chasing everyone around the galaxy in a spaceship, and they had these robotic horses. So it's got everything a kid in the 80s would love. Exactly. And cool toys. And cool toys. And great superpowers. Right. All right, let's see. Let, let's let's pass it around here. Let's see. Chief, what do you got? What's some underrated gems that people aren't talking about that kids today need to know about? Animaniacs. Dude, oh. I used to love Damn. that show. Damn, they were off the hood. Chief, oh. I got news for um, you. Chief, they're bringing Animaniacs back. They're They're doing a new one. I think it's on Netflix. Or coming to Netflix. Is it? Yeah. Man, yeah. that's I the original that. ones when are on Netflix. The, yeah. the, when they used to do the countries of the world. Yeah. They used to psych me up. Um. All right. So, what was Animated X about? What was that about for folks who don't know? It's hard to explain Animaniacs. I don't even know what they were. Uh, they were just these characters. They used to get into these these crazy adventures. I I I, I don't I don't. It was, it was like a comedy, but it was a little bit on the adult side because some of the jokes was like you know I, I couldn't right. see a a child getting them. Um, but it's it, it's one of those shows you got to watch. I can't explain. I, what were the Animaniacs? Are they cats? What the hell are they? That was the whole <laughs> theme of them. That was the whole thing. They always were like, what are y'all dogs? And they never really described what they actually were. Yeah, I don't know what I they love, were. I love that part. Yeah, they, 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 the whole, it was just a guy saying, good show. Do you mind if I interject with the plot? Because I do remember that. Definitely. Very well. Hello, but, nurse. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so in the beginning of the theme, they were like, okay, these cats, wrote, they were drawn, but Warner Brothers didn't know what to do with them. So they locked them away in the water tower. Then they got yeah. out in 90 whatever and they were just causing crazy trouble and issues there's so many like warner brothers like characters that came out it was just great it was a great show but that was like the whole plot that they they just came out and they were bouncing around and having adventures and being funny and you can't leave out pinky and the brain of course and pinky and the freaking brain <laughs> oh, it's so chicken, hilarious chicken, oh, chicken boo <laughs> Right, 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 right. Or the good feathers. Or good feathers. Or the good feathers. Right, 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 right. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't even get that joke until I was like, I actually finally watched the movie. I'm like, yo. Right. <laughs> it had a lot of a lot of adult humor on that. And then go yeah, back now, it's like, oh, that was kind of sneaky. All right, Chief, you got That's another one? Great. Yeah. Oh, no, no, that was my that was my 90s show. I used to love that show. Uh, maybe maybe DuckTales. So what was the old premise of DuckTales, Chief? You remember that one? It was about uh, uh, Scrooge McDuck, and he uh, he had a uh, – in getting conventions, him, his nephews, and a dude named Launchpad, who was their pilot. Who'd, uh, so Scrooge McDuck had his money pit, and people were always trying to break in and steal from the money pit. 
and he could dive off this diving board straight into the gold coin swim. And uh, how, how stupid is that it, when you think about it? He's diving in the yeah. gold, not dollars, just straight coin. Oh, God. Straight gold <laughs> coins, man. And I mean, that's, hey, that's how he was, man. Scrooge McDuck, baby. Get him. And uh, he, uh, and they would just, you know, fly around getting into stuff, getting into ventures, you know. Um, it was a good show, too, though. Always I, trying I used to, to watch that. He was always trying to increase his wealth. That was the thing. He was always going on, like, these excursions to get more money. Remember uh, Gizmo? Gizmo Duck. Gizmo Duck. <laughs> Let's go to Gunner. I got one for the 80s and one for the 90s, and I got to honor fit it out real quick. Go for um, it. Early. Uh, okay, the first one I'm thinking of is Turbo Team. What? Oh, they turned into no cars. Oh yeah. my God. He turned yeah. into a car, you know? Wait, that big red no. car, his face got what? all stupid. Big, and his face all got all bent out. And he no. Got all stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is, what is he about? Turbo okay, team. so Turbo Team. Okay. This kid, there was a thunderstorm, he rolls down a hill, and then he crashes his, his, his car. His, like, so apparently this kid's like super rich. I don't know, their family was like, well, he's back in the 80s, like Ferris Bueller. And like he had this like cool ass Trans Am like back when Wright Rider was. Oh, uh, big, right? oh yeah, Now you remember I he remember crashed this now. into the beam thing. He's like, oh, the scientists are like, whoa, what's happening? And then he just reappears and it's just him. Then he turns into the car that he was just driving. So he's back and forth. It's like it's like it's like Teen Wolf only with a car. It's great, and he goes on adventures, <laughs> and you know solves mysteries and fights crime. Who is Turbo the new team. character? Is it Alex? The dude, boy, Brett, Brent, Brent, something like that. <laughs> Car face. Brett, Brett Matthews. Brett Matthews. Man, that's that's funny. Yeah, I remember that because they used to be in comic books back in the day. They would have like the, you know, how they used to do the big premiere for yeah. upcoming. So like on Friday night, you'd see the Saturday morning lineup. Yeah. The way would right. I talk about that? And um, they did that in the comic books. They would have like a big, like a big ad for that upcoming TV special. So it'd be like, here's all the shows coming. And so they had a big one of that. I Turbo that. team, man. That was a joint. All right. The second one I'm switching. That was the 80s. I'm okay. switching to the 90s. I'm surprised y'all ain't do this one, man. I don't think these kids know about the real X-Men cartoon. Not the <laughs> evolution got better after <laughs> season one, but and then Wolverine and X-Men, eh, we'll, we'll move on from that. But the original 1992, or even just previously on X Men, and you just ran downstairs like, "Yo, I forgot it's 11 o'clock. I gotta watch this joint." Like, yeah. yeah, that was one. I mean, a, I mean, you talk about following the comic book. I mean, no, that man, show was all over the place with the comic. That show was all over the place with the comic book. But it is not true, but they still kept it intact, and everybody had their actual mutant power, and they weren't idiots. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? It wasn't the saber tooth being saber tooth. You know what I mean? It was just or being a mute. You know what I mean? So that, that puts like, them in step real. over the movies. The Shi'ar thing, man. That they went, they went in on that. The whole dark phoenix, phoenix, dark phoenix. They went in order, man. It was all good. Yeah, they went through the whole was ice really man. Really good. Thing. Was he gay? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, nah, but I swear to goodness. So, no, nah, the whole Magneto thing, Sentinels. There was an episode where well, no, they had in the show he was dating Polaris. Right. Remember? You and remember he, that? He was dating all these X-Force. in the comic book. Anyway, don't even say that. They yeah. found X-Force and then him and Havoc, Cyclops and Havoc were having this yeah. epic fight and even though they were related. I'm like, word. This is the greatest <laughs> thing I've ever seen. Just little <laughs> things like that. You were like, yo, this is the greatest show period, and they took it off, man, Magneto was like one of those, you want to talk about an anti-hero, forget Venom, give me Magneto, that dude was off the chain, man, so, yeah. I'm tripping that your accident came on at 11 o'clock. It was 11, yeah, it was 11 o'clock. It was 11. Because Spider-Man came on at 10.30, I remember, because I had to do my chores, I was doing my chores, I started my chores at 9.30, so I wouldn't miss that, real talk. (laughs) Nice. 1992, 12 years old. I'm getting my twenty dollars. I'm gonna watch my X Men. So we got two. You said you had an honorable mention. Honorable mention. I mentioned it. I slipped out because we were talking about those early morning cartoons when like Jim, GI Joe, Defenders of the Earth came on. You know what I mean? Um, whatever that Galaxy Quest show that I don't remember that 
mentioned earlier. <laughs> Galaxy Rangers. Um, I was I mentioned Transor Z. Transor ah, Z is more man. like seven, six thirty, seven o'clock. You're getting dressed. You're like, yo, I'm eating my oatmeal. It's, that cat would just come out of the pool. He'd be driving his little yellow, his little red joint, and he's like, Transor Z. He'd come out, shoots lasers. You know, it's basically a big robot versus monster show. That's all it is. And you had the goofy one that they made one, and then they had the girl one because, you know, it's the 80s. They had to have a inject the girl stuff in there every time. It was fine. That's cool. But the, the way they always did it was very artificial and just, you know, whatever. But it was a, it was a good show, right? Now they're doing, like, a movie. There's, like, an animated movie coming out with Transor Z coming out soon if it's not already out because it's over in Japan. It's all good. Hmm. I'd watch that. Yo, but I love the thing about the female robot because their boobs were missiles. That was awesome. It was ridiculous. I'm like, that was most awesome. Let's, was just like, interject, let's just interject women, but still objectify them Dude, in the show. That's that, what I'm trying to say. That was it's amazing. So ridiculous. It was amazing. That's how they did in the 80s. Man, the 80s, the 80s were a lot more inclusive. Every team had a black dude, an Asian dude. A black dude. I mean, they were, I mean, about the A-team. covered about everything. The A-team. Yeah. They finally just threw a chick in there, like, randomly, and that's what they didn't get at the end of the show, honestly. And then Knight Rider, they switched out Bonnie for, like, three other women. I'm like, come on, guys. Hey, it's man. Keep Bonnie. It's Michael Knight, man. He's a, he, he's a one. He, he only needs Kit in her car with him, okay? It's a car star man, show. He you knew that. Place Bonnie with any woman. Jace. Let's hear from you. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go with my old trusty favorite. Uh, for my 80s is one you would actually you can actually find on Netflix, RoboJack. You had... Uh, All right, what was RoboJack about? Character. I'm, I'm saying, like, RoboJack was basically like alien invasion. Like, the whole series was about aliens invading Earth. There was a lot of deeper meaning to why they kept coming to Earth, but it, it had a good, I mean, you'll find that out later on. But each time you had planes that turned into robots that could fight these giant, you know, giants that are coming and invading Earth. But the, what really makes it good is it's, the robots are cool, but this is kind of where all this, a lot of TV shows miss stuff. It's like, you actually cared about the characters when they weren't fighting. It was like, oh, shoot, like, Oh, that's what's going on with this person's life. Like, and when a major, it's a kid show, but you will actually see people die. Like people like in the military die, like main characters died. And you're like, Oh shoot. Like, so you had to really like, this is real. I mean, almost real life. Like, Hey, you're going to get attached to somebody. War kills people, but you're going to really enjoy all these, uh, most of these characters. I mean, some of that Dana season you're going to hate, but for the most part, you're really going to, it's really a good show. And it's like, you're really going to care about all these characters. My 90s show is one. Wait, 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 wait. You're forgetting the most important part of Robotech. The songs? Men May. Rick Hunter? <laughs> Again. Men May. You want to talk about Men May? But I actually have that soundtrack. I, I literally downloaded, I bought the Robotech soundtrack. And I still like most of the Men May songs. And they were smart enough, once you heard them too many times, they just cut them off short. Like, yeah, you, you've heard it 10,000 times. Like, we, we, you get it. She's the biggest thing moving. So you, you're okay hearing. Like, Men May is basically like how you hear Drake on the radio now. Like, she's on everything. <laughs> <I get it. laughs> uh, but... You you like okay I like it okay now they're they're smart enough like you've heard too much of them they let's go to something else like, let's go to new that's things hilarious <laughs> that's hilarious that's true oh my god <laughs> it's the ninety show okay my ninety show is is the e- e- one of the easiest ones the Batman the animated series that has yeah. great bad guys it's Batman. Yeah, I mean, you no, did it all. Uh, yeah, I it, mean, it you get you get from justice from that you get ju- uh, Superman to Justice League to Justice League. Unlimited. I mean, Justice League Unlimited. Batman so, Beyond. I mean, damn. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, he introduces most of those characters. You have at least how, Dwayne. How many seasons was uh, Batman? <laughs> uh, I don't know, but I can find out real quick. <laughs> I was going to say, all you have to do is look downstairs. 
it's like forces. I think it's more than five because I, I was look, I, I keep looking at the price of how much they, each one of them goes for. Oh, but no, you, four you, 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 like, season, but it ran from uh, ninety two to ninety five. Had eighty five episodes. Jeez. Oh. That's it? Man, yeah. I watched those repeats a lot. Yeah. yeah. Yep. There were 85 quality episodes plus the little crossovers with the Superman, and then you got Justice League, which took it all over, and Batman Beyond and all that. So yeah. I can see why we would think it was longer. The good, the good thing about that show was you throw away bad guy episodes. They were quick, and you didn't really – you didn't feel cheated. Like, oh, okay. That's not stretching out this season longer than it is. A twenty, what a twenty-two minute show? Okay, we got some random bad guys. Batman should take about twenty-two minutes to get rid of random bad guy, and there's no theme, and we're we're cool. So, you based on everything you get out of Batman, the animated series definitely one to check out and enjoy. I am hey. shocked you didn't go with Gargoyles. Oh, Ooh, that's a great. I talked, show. I talked about Gargoyles. I talked about Gargoyles last week. And then also, they're basically saying that led, that that ran into Batman Beyond. Ah, uh, so there was no real gap with Batman. It just kept going on and on and on. Pretty much. Nice. And then that had fifty-two episodes. Oh, well, that'll do it. One back. Hey, but that uh, that direct-to-video movie was great. Which one, dude? Joker that joke was perfect with the Joker. Yeah, the Joker. Uh, that that's was really good. Oh yeah, that became canon for that whole thing. Because if yeah. you remember, at the end of Justice League, they were like, "Remember when he?" And then when they they mentioned that the you know that didn't stop you you know the nanites and all that situation or whatever that created the Joker and Tim Drake. He's like, "That didn't stop Joker from doing that with Tim Drake." I'm like, "Oh, they referenced." Oh, <laughs> <No. laughs> yeah, it's real. I think that that is probably. That's probably their best direct uh, video movie, actually. I am like mm-hmm. Return of Joker is probably their best one. Excuse me. I, I mean, you... Red Hood, Red Hood, yeah. Red Hood. There's like a movie. Red Hood. But it, there's a whoa. Man, I mean, there's, there's a lot on that one. Javon, what you got? So I got a couple, man. We'll run through these real quick. T and friends came on the USA Power Hour of cartoons. Yes. It was a Mr. T, who was extremely popular in the 80s from the A-Team, and Rocky Three is Clubber Lang. It was just Mr. T with, like, five white kids and a dog with a mohawk going around solving crimes. It's, it. it's where Mike Tyson's mystery team is what it's based on. Yep. Um, for the 90s, The Critic, starring uh, – yeah. it wasn't really a kid's that. show, but it was – Still a very, very yeah, funny yeah. and underrated cartoon. It was an animated series. Javon. Uh, starring Javon, John Lovitz from SNL fame. Javon yeah. hated it. You hated it. It, 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 it. That's Jay's tagline. <laughs> it stinks. <laughs> yeah. I see what you did there. Um, yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a really funny cartoon. Uh, SNL alum John, uh, John Lovitz was on there. Uh, also from the 90s, Stunt Dogs. People wait, may not wait, even wait, know what this wait, is. What? Yeah, yeah Stunt Dogs was hilarious. Stunt Dogs. You remember Stunt Dogs? Yeah. No. Yeah, Google that joint, son. Hold on. <laughs> Stunt, <laughs> Stunt Dogs was hilarious. D a w g s. D o g or D a w. D a w g s. About a Roman band of stunt performers that it was way too much adult humor for kids. What the heck? Yeah. Is yeah. I don't remember right. that one, but I agree with you on the critic. The critic was great. I do remember the critic. I loved it. I was kind of sad they took it off. What is this? What? Stunt Dogs was about a team of stunt performers who did stunts in Hollywood, you know, for money, and they had their own, like, traveling Ringling Brothers circus of uh, – st- imagine jackass cartoon. Imagine a jackass cartoon. That was Stunt Dog. It was way too adult – to be on a Saturday morning or, or afternoon block for kids. At one point in time, uh, DCA 20 and WBFF Fox were running this show at 11 o'clock at night because they had that much adult wow. humor packed into it. That's why you didn't hear it. It didn't last long, <laughs> but it was hilarious. If you get a chance, they got like one or two episodes on YouTube. Watch them. You won't be disappointed. Wow. Yeah. I've never seen that show. 
This is like drawn together, huh? A little bit like drawn that together. It's a little too adult for, yeah. All right, yeah, so you got ball. any other ones, Javon? And humanoids, of course. GoBots. Uh, All right, let you talk on a couple yeah. cool ones. Let, let's break down in humanoids. Uh, in humanoids, if I can remember, Jeff, without Wikipedia, um, something on. happened. Do I you remember? Go ahead. Do I you remember that one? I, I remember watching it. I don't remember the main story. So they were digging and uncovered. They went too far and unearthed these monsters, and they started trying to go nuts on the planet. And then these humanoid guys or this task force with these cool suits had to try to fight them to get them below the surface. Mm-hmm. And it was one. Yeah. It was one that had like an ongoing story, so it wasn't a. 22 it was a continuous storyline, yeah. Yeah, and those were cool. I really liked those, like Robotech, where it wasn't wrapped up yeah. in one episode. It was just like, oh, shoot, what's going to happen next week? And that one for right. me came on Saturdays at, like, it was one of the late ones, like 12, 12.30. It was like when when Humanoids ended, then it was time to do the rest of the day. It was like, oh, shoot, okay, no more cartoons. Watch, yeah, watch videos on Channel right. 4. Until, yeah, the, geez, what in the... NBC ones that came on at 8 o'clock. Anyway, but yeah, that was great. And you mentioned GoBots, which, which <laughs> tends Go to get derided was, now as the Transformers ripoff, but... GoBots was watch. the all the, the Transformers, like Whole Foods or, or, or Wegmans. You called them all GoBots. Nah, you said all these. Come on, man. They were so that's going to flavor read. Oh, come on. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. 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 That joint is fruit mix compared to Kool-Aid. Go come on, man. Go Bots is the grape drink to Transformers Welch's grape juice. <laughs> they, uh, Go man. Bots was Go Bots was not that bad, man. Go Bots was oh, yeah. flat. Oh yeah, who was the no, what was the leader? What was the was leader, leader of the, the evil GoBots name, Jeff? I kill, I kill. Dude, awesome name. Lethal one. Only reason you do know that is because you run a podcast. No, <laughs> I, I watched GoBots. <laughs> I have that on my tape of greatest cartoons, man. It was it was awesome. That is a horrible oh, list that you have. Yeah. Budget, what else is on that? No budget <laughs> animation, the big stupid uh, toy. I, I can't defend <laughs> the animation. Big bricks. Oh my but god! Their human sidekicks weren't as annoying as the Transformer sidekicks. You didn't even pay attention okay. to them. That's because they didn't get in the way. They, they, focused too too much. they focused too much on the human sidekicks on GoBots. I'm like, I don't even care about these people. Just transform. And Bamas would transform as much as <laughs> Bamas would transform as much as Dragon Ball Z would fight. You got like eight throwaway episodes. In the middle. <laughs> God, I guess like, the, this is the, the budget show. for transforming the GoBots budget was one episode. You had one transform <laughs> per episode. It took a lot for that to happen. Hey, that was a lot of one GoBot boy. GoBots never had to worry about kid. these changing colors in the battle. <laughs> Oh, see, that's a cheap shot. It that's was, cool. but, but it was one of the only ones I could go with. <laughs> 80s, every 80s cartoon, the Brave Star did that, man. Brave Star was like blue, black, then it was brown, then it was light. <laughs> and like it was one hot episode. that day. It was hot. <laughs> <laughs> the film I love was that was Tan yeah. Well, I love that the wrong character would be talking. Like the wrong character would be talking oh, yeah. when the other one's voice is going. I, I love that. Love that. Hey man, those studios weren't weren't quality control. It was just crank out eighty five no. episodes as fast as you can. These these kids and one, exactly. toys. And one thing, the one thing, get Mattel and Hasbro on, right? Yeah. Tonka, <laughs> Kenner, all those. Well, did, did, have y'all noticed one thing about Kenner. all cartoons from the eighties that we watched that were very conflict driven, good versus evil driven? They were preparing our generation for the next world war. We were gonna. We were going to be the next soldiers because our our cartoons were very direct. This is good versus evil. Uh, 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 there's conflict. There's weapons. There's battle. And there's Fast lasers. Forward, Our toys too. Out of their their car. Yeah. 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 Well, thing, well, that's forward, that's why we can handle bullies. But that's why we can handle bullies. And I don't know about these kids now. Yeah, I said it on air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
You say it ain't soft. Train to fight, you good. You stand up to the bullies, you good. We had after school specials about standing up to bullies. Dude, we had one to grow on. after GI Joe yeah. specials and after and, and you know he man, man. Like, yo, and he man, yeah. man, they showed you how to deal with stuff with life. These kids got with nothing. Life. What is what is Teen Titans Go yeah. showing these kids? They ain't showing these kids nothing. nothing. Teen Titans Go ain't showing none. <laughs> They don't show anything. As much as I like Wheat Bear Bears, your kids are dumber for watching it, and so are you. Dumber. <laughs> show me some X Men where they just blew up shit. <laughs> Wolverine just clawed your life out. Like, look, I'm I'm done. With cartoon, but I'm gonna claw your life out. Well, there was a real good versus evil. There was morality discussed. There was a sense of doing right versus wrong, and recognizing what was right and wrong. And you discussed what you learned at the end of an episode. Then they gave you a public service announcement. Man, hey, stupid, don't make this up. rag on the stove. Stuff like that, you know? Right. Hey, Johnny, so, hey. don't jump over with live wires. <laughs> <laughs> Duke from G.I. Joe said, don't drink the Clorox, so I'm not going to drink the Clorox. Here, here's mine, because I don't, I don't want to forget mine. So mine started in 79, like one of Dwayne's, and ended in 82. But it was awesome and none of you guys mentioned it because it, it may be a little bit before you guys were watching at this point it was the new adventures of flash gordon and this was not defenders of the earth this was like the old filmation and again it was mm-hmm. another of those long serials so it just played out as one long story and it was just like the comic strip and it actually had really really good animation for the late 70s and early 80s and it was better than some shows in the late 80s and it was pretty, I mean, it was pretty adult for what it was because it, was, it wasn't silly. They didn't play it for laughs. It was just, this is Flash Gordon. And he's this dude that got shipwrecked or crash landed on this planet. And he's trying to overthrow this cool, uh, ruthless leader, Ming the Merciless. He's going to hang out with this lion dude. He's going to hang out with Prince Baron, King Bolton. So it was like this squad. And it was great. I love that show. Which reminds me, I need to track it down on Amazon or something to buy it put it in my collection i keep waiting for everything to come on blu-ray so i'm just gonna buckle down and get that uh, dvd on it uh we we threw out Bion or brave star we threw out he-man and of course gi joe and i'm gonna go with with uh i'm trying to settle i'm gonna go with gunner and, and have an honorable mention my honorable mention is bionic six that was a cool show oh, yeah. is it was it was like i always say like those 80s shows really were all about inclusive and showing everybody we can all get along and so this family was legit they had everybody they had an asian kid karate one he was very pc and they had a black dude they had (laughs) it's like they were inclusive but they were like so like yo we're gonna include you but here's the stereotypical (laughs) but they didn't call it karate one they didn't call the black dude Urban too, so I was happy. I mean, they didn't make him a rapper. He was like the smart dude on the team. It was like this is cool. Cause you know Jesus back in the day, what was his name? Grape Kool Aid? No, nah, yeah. no, nah, he was he was just the genius of the family. And you know, oh, cool. it, it was like the Asian dudes on those cartoons weren't great at math. I mean, it was they didn't play into all the stereotypes. I mean, like. Quick, uh, he, he was just karate one. one. Hey, <laughs> hey. Was karate one. Karate was big in the eighties, man. This is yes, true. Yes, it was. It's, it's not like that we had a rock. Up it that is. he's karate one. They, but look, kind of messed up though. He's not karate ten. But they did. He's number one in karate. Hey, but we all loved it back then. I did. Still do. Exactly. It was awesome. <laughs> But we didn't know any better. We didn't know any better. Yo, right. Shout out to uh, June Ree, man. Young. Young, you passed away uh, a couple of weeks ago, right? That nobody bothers me nobody for all those uh, DC me. kids. Right. Yeah. Nobody bothers me either. All right, now I'm going to go with my most controversial pick that none of you all have the guts to mention. Maybe maybe Chief would. Okay. Because he mentioned Care Bears <laughs> last time. But I'm going to go harder <laughs> than go by to swear to God. No, I'm not going to say GoBots. I mean, I, I didn't even write GoBots down. GoBots I like, but I, I'm not going to go out on a limb with this one. This one is my pick that none of y'all would, would dare put on yours. Ready? What you walk this way, God, I'm hanging up. If I say what? This will be more <laughs> Ewoks, I'm hanging up. Oh, gosh, no. Ewoks suck. You know what was so bad about Ewoks? They never put Han Solo or Luke Skywalker, Chewbacca. Right. It was, it was about the Ewoks. Nobody cares about the Ewoks. They're not killing stormtroopers. <laughs> I don't care about right. the Ewoks. 
That's what was like the Munchie tea is only whack. Er. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, do y'all remember Shirt Tales? I'm, this is not my one. Yeah. yeah. And Pound Puppies. Yeah. 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 Snorks. Yeah. Snorks. Snorks. Yeah, man. Uh, girl not- cartoons. Norse was not a girl cartoon. You want a girl cartoon? It was a wow. modern wow. Smurf. Okay. No. Did you have any? Did you have any Snorks toys? I, I did. I had I one. Did, yeah. I had the yellow. You played with them in the tub. Uh, right. You, you played with them in the tub. Yeah. Uh, Come on, man. <laughs> this, this is why you're cursed to uh, watch these these corny show cartoons now. <laughs> this is, hey, y'all want a girl's cartoon? Watch Wildfire. No. I've, I've got the Look that up. I've got the pick. Hey, my pick. Jeff, I think I know your pick. What's my but pick? go ahead. All right. My pick is Jim in the hologram. Yep. I just pulled it up. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jim oh, in the hologram was, dope. was a money oh, was dope. show. So let me yep. break this It to be a girl to show, but nobody cared. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that was the greatest Because we're out ever. here. It was the last show before uh, the last. Yep. you had to start watching the talk shows like Donahue. And yeah, that, yeah. That, that's that's when oh, Grandma got wow. the full TV because it was like, all right, there's no more cartoons. No more cartoons, on, y'all go play. You, but Jim and the Holograms is about this girl, uh, Jerrica Benton, and he in, and she inherited from her father all of his wealth and this. Uh, he he ran like this home for orphans, and he gave her these earrings, and these earrings tapped into this hologram. Synergy, which allowed Synergy. Erica and her crew to dazzle themselves up with these hologram outfits, and they sang, and Jerrica became Jim. And every episode had these songs, which are just ridiculously catchy. She had this boyfriend, <laughs> Rico, with purple hair, and they had to deal with the baddest crew of bad guys in any 80s cartoon The Misfits. These jokers were. Full of bizarre. They they should have been arrested a million times. They should be given life in prison. They committed they, arson. They, they were they, committed, they were like attempted the homicide, attempted <laughs> manslaughter, <laughs> poison. They would run somebody off the Yeah, they were, they were they were ridiculous right. homicide. They, oh man! <laughs> I need to watch Jim and just write down all the offenses, all the criminal offenses the misfits committed. <laughs> Gosh, it'd be like eight days. It was ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty ridiculous. Dude, but, the Christmas episode alone, they they burned down an orphanage. Yeah, <laughs> they tried to hard. kill. They tried to be in kill jail Jericho. for like forty years. Forty years to <laughs> life for what they, they did. They're worse than the uh, right. house party bad guys. Yeah. They're worse than the house party bad guys, man. They were serious, Dang. but they did make good music though. So I understand why the judge got them off. Like, all right. And then they had the sleazy Eric. Was it Eric Gordon? Was that his name? It was Eric. Yeah. yeah. It, was Eric. it was uh Eric Raymond. Eric Raymond, right? He he had two Eric first Raymond. names. Yeah. So that that show. <laughs> I I need to dig up because I feel like I have some of those episodes in my collection, but I need the whole thing because Jim was great. It's on Netflix, honestly. Man. It's on Netflix. Oh, it is. It really? It is. It is. Yeah, it literally is. Twilight in Paris, awesome. It is. It's still good. Add that to my list, song. Yeah. Did you see the movie? Gosh. <laughs> what? They made a movie of Jim and Hoggins? There was a movie. Yeah, we, don't, we don't acknowledge. Exactly. <laughs> there was a guy group one there, too. Do you remember the guy group? The what? There was a guy group in the last season. No. And that's when they really? went off the rails and went off. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's that's, that's oh, when yeah. they introduced the cute kid to the family, and it just went ridiculous. Man, wow. All right. So Dwayne, was there anything that we did not cover on your your on your master list? Uh let's see. I don't think we talked about Thundercats. Somebody wake Chief up. Chief, you remember Thundercats, man? Chief asleep. Oh uh, yeah, I do wake remember Thundercats. <laughs> we talked about Thundercats. We did? Yeah. We talked about a lot. Yes, yeah, yeah, we talked about Thunder. Yeah, Thunder yeah, was a, I mean, how could you not talk about Thunder now? We like to make a movie. Mumra, right? Lionel. No, they, well, they, have make, they are making a movie on that foolishness, but I know it's not going to be good. You know what I mean? Who's going to be Who's going to be? Who's going to be the cast? All right. That's so, all I got to do. quick. Somebody's got to be, somebody's got to be the car. The Rock. Who, who's going to be Lionel? Uh, 
Who would you Sam be Diesel. Either Hemsworth. Hemsworth. One of them damn Hemsworth. Yeah, exactly. It's got to be a I'm Hemsworth. I'm going to play Lionel, but I got a gut. <laughs> Hey man, hey we we can, yeah. we can we can hey if if hell if uh, the guy from Stranger Things can be you know Hellboy, you, we can make it happen. It'll be like Lionel. <laughs> Lionel just said the hell with it. <laughs> he let himself go. <laughs> now nah, y'all got the CGI my ass. Diet, I'll be diet diet <laughs> yeah, my and my junk. Let me put you in one of them green body suits. Like right. Everybody. <laughs> Hey, I'll tell yo. you what, I ain't going to get no green body suit. I don't care how much money they dog <laughs> You're getting a green body suit for the CGI. Ain't nobody going to say that. They ain't even going to do it. Exactly. Man. I can do it. Shoot. I can't do it, man. I can't fit in no green I'm lantern. No, my, uh, no green body suit. <laughs> green lantern. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got 30 cats. Anything else, boy? And hey, what about uh, Dungeons and Dragons? Yeah. Oh, oh wow. yeah. Pole position. <laughs> pole position. Good grief. I Does anybody like remember Kid Video? I remember. Of course I do. Kid... Oh, wow, you do? I remember Captain N. Yeah. And Captain N, the so game master. Bad. Captain yeah. N was such a disappointment. Yeah. I wanted them to have everybody show up so every episode. Sucks. And it was like, this is so disappointing. Every week. <laughs> That's right. It's like, come on. That episode they did when they what crossed over. The best episode they did was when they crossed over with um, Legends of Zelda from the Mario show. Yeah, yeah, That was the yeah. best episode they did when they crossed over there. I was like, yo, even the animation looks better. Good for you. All right, Dwayne, what else? Oh, all the Super Friends shows. Were those 80s? I think Challenges Challenge Super, Friends. Super Friends. Friends. Challenge Close and, enough. Uh, Super Friends or Super Friends. Hey, 70s, 80s. Yeah. It's it's still song. Now, which was the best? That's like Johnny <laughs> Quest. I'm like, I feel like they crossed over, um, you know, uh, decades. So what was yeah, the best did. DC show? Best DC show? Yeah. Batman Super Friends, Animated Vicious. Super Friends, Challenges Super Friends. Super Friends. Batman Animated Adventures. Wendy and Marvin oh. era or or <laughs> the Wonder Twins? Don't forget uh, Cyborg oh. with the Superpowers team. Right? Oh. <laughs> I'm kind of partial to that one. I like that squad. But I like Challenges. Wonder Twins. I'm, I'm still tripping off that. Dude, come on. The Wonder Twins were actually money. They they had to play them kind of corny, but they had cool powers. Like you could become an animal or a bucket of water. Come on. Nah, water. bro. I can't see right. the Wonder Twins the same no more after I saw Harvey Birdman, attorney at law. Hey, man, that was hilarious. Please tell me you saw that episode where this cat was like, well, how do you know Wonder Woman was in the bath? He's like, I was her bath water. Yeah, <laughs> like, form of a washcloth. Oh my God. <laughs> did, you see, did you see the Wonder yeah. Twins shorts they did yeah. during that time? Oh my God, they were hilarious. Hey. I'm dying here. Zane. Oh my God. What's his name? Zan? Jan and Zan? Jan and Zan, yeah. Jan and Zan, yeah. He found a good use for and his Gleek. Right. And Gleek. Can't forget about a rabid monkey. <laughs> hey, what about switching over to Marvel though? Spider Man and his amazing friends. Yeah. yeah, I like that one because that still was money. Stars because they would put yeah. in like, Captain America, yeah. Iron Man. They brought in the X Men. They did. That was cool. Brought yeah. X Men. They had an Australian uh-huh. Wolverine, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> the day, mate. What? what? are you do it. He's You're like, wait a minute. What? Hey, what's wrong with You're you? Canada. What's wrong with you? Exactly. Oh Canada. <laughs> that show was money though. I don't care. It came on like right before Incredible Hulk. I feel like that Spider-Man show was really faithful to the comic, too. Absolutely. Really? I do. No, it wasn't. I, but I just remember it was more faithful than that Firestar. No, not that one. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about the, the other one. You're talking about so Spider-Man and the earlier one. The one that came on Fox later. Uh, oh, the oh, one that okay. oh, yeah. yeah, that yeah. one. Yeah. That one was really Okay. Funny. Agree. They that even snuck in the Super Wars crossover. He did. Yeah. Had Storm yeah, in Four. Oh, yeah, a couple of Avengers, too. Yeah. And mm-hmm. he worked in the Punisher. He worked in Blade. Real talk. <laughs> did you say Blade? They did. Yeah, Blade was on there. Right, 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 right. They and more did. Now, did y'all remember that uh, Fantastic Four cartoon? This one came on super early on. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. 
It was it had but that was one with the like this. It had two seasons. The first was trash. It had Brian Austin Green no. voicing Human Torch. And he had uh-huh. an episode where he rapped. You need to Google and YouTube this. Cause yeah. was- nope. What year was that nope. one? Oh, God. God one. Y'all remember the old Iron Man? That was the same one. Force Work. Came on, yeah. It came on like a block. So Fantastic Four came on first. And Iron Man. But it was... Let me see. I'm trying to figure that out now. But that that cartoon was the first the first season was trash, but the second was really good because they did what the movies that aren't Marvel Studios refused to do. Like they actually stuck to the actual comic. They didn't stray one bit. So it was like they just oh the 1994 good. version. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah, yeah. So good. And the the first season was terrible. Even though they pretty much stuck to the comics. It was bad. But the second season was great. That Iron Man wasn't as good. Y'all remember the Hulk cartoon? I remember the one that came on after Super after Spider Man and his amazing friend. I remember was that better. one. The UB that one, one was, was terrible. Hype. Yeah. I remember that one and didn't watch it. But you made each other. I saw one, I was like, This ain't the one because remember back <laughs> man, the one in the eighties, they threw the She Hulk in there on you, man. Yeah. yeah. Super- yeah. So it was good stuff. All right, let me uh wind down. All right, so Dwayne, is there anything on, else on that one before before we move over to the next part? Last one, can't remember if anyone said it. Mask. Yeah, that that's my movie. Oh yeah, that, yeah. that's my. Oh no, F. Gary Gray's movie. He's directing that, and that's the one. That's the one that can absolutely not fail as a cartoon, beloved '80s cartoon to movie, because there's too much right. to to not get right on that. And the dude that already did a Fast and Furious movie understands how a mass movie needs to be. So let, let's go on to the next part. We're going to just go round robin on this with the, the breaking news for this week. Let, let's start off with probably the biggest and one that I want to get everybody's take on. Comcast is trying to pull the ultimate buzz kill, whatever you want to use. But they're trying to piss all over fanboys happiness because they're trying to sneak in and bid now for the fox license so in essence comcast is going to go haha sorry disney i know you guys want fantastic four and x-men and deadpool but we're going to take them from you and make crappy movies uh i'm not happy about this clearly of course um but i think if anybody has the money, maybe from a couple billion dollar films. It's Disney, so I don't think it's going to be a big deal. But what do you think about this? And are you happy that Comcast is delaying this even further? Uh, let's start with you, Gunner. Uh, I mean, I think this is like that dude in the club that's kind of a fuddy-duddy trying to cockblock you. He's like, this dude, what is he trying to do? This thing ain't going to work. Don't worry about him. You just kind of play them off and then move on. Disney and Marvel are going to go off in the sunset or, you know, or after the club, whatever you want to use analogy. It is not happening. Um, but, yeah, no, nah, it's not going to happen. I mean, okay, Comcast got some universal money behind them, but what's the best universal movie that came out lately? Jurassic World, Jurassic World which was a spinoff from Jurassic Park. And they ain't creative. Universal's so. the Fast and Furious crew. Yeah, they got money. Universal is Fast and Furious? Yes, really? sir. I thought that was another. Uh, gr- uh, you're right. You're right. You're right. I fault. Yeah. They don't have Disney money. Yeah, for some reason. They can just use. That they ain't got no Disney, Disney money though. Disney. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, I'm thinking like that last blockbuster blockbuster. I think it's gonna be. I think it's a futile attempt. I think it's just rumors because they just might be trying to get a piece of the superhero game. You never know. Yeah. I would if I were a stockbroker or a dude in stocks, I'd be like, nah. You still want to buy stock in Disney? Yeah. You ain't want to. You don't want to mess with Universal. All right. Uh, Steve Comcast, same difference. Good deal. Chief, how about you? They can have Fantastic Four. But they got to do. <laughs> you got to, they got to <laughs> give X-Men to Disney, man. I, uh, you know, I'm a, like I said, them X-Men movies are horrible. Uh, and Fantastic Four, they pretty much lost me for the rest of the franchise on those movies. Those were, I mean, straight chalk and daddy, each and every one of them. <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> proud of those units. They're proud of yeah, those units. Yeah, yeah. How many cook- how many cuckoos do you own? <laughs> oh shoot. So yeah, pretty much, man. I'm just like, yo, this 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 
if they uh I don't think they got enough money to mess with Disney. I mean and, and Comcast is just garbage anyways. I, I the, the 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 service is garbage. They they're gonna put out garbage movies. They always make it so painful. I, I don't know why they're sticking their snout in there anyway. You know what I mean? Like what do you what, what for what? You know what I mean? Why do you want to make movies now? I mean, who ever heard of a Comcast movie anyway? Uh, this is Comcast official production. Nobody. This is going to suck. It's going to suck, man. It's going to be, uh, what's that movie where they started to, uh, uh, with, uh, what's his name? And they started to sweep the movies and do them there. Most death was in it and Jack Black. And they would do their own production of the movies and then put it into the, uh, the video case. Be yes. everyone. That's how that's how the Comcast movies are gonna come out <laughs> when they squeeze the movies. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? X Men, squeeze it out. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's gonna be garbage. You don't want your movie sweet. I would see that. I would go see that though. Wolverine holding a knife, a fork, and a spoon in his hands. Oh man! Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Oh, my God, it'd be so bad. It'd be great. Javon, Jace, Mark Wahlberg needs a new director for his $6 billion man movie. Even if he does, is there a director that would make you want to go see this movie? No. Look, I'm tired of Mark Wahlberg looking annoyed in everything he does. It, it always, you know, what Mark, Mark Wahlberg always looks like somebody walked up to him and told him, look, I got bad news. Somebody to pitch a Porsche. Really? God damn it. That's how he looks in everything he's in. I don't, I, it doesn't matter what Mark Wahlberg does. I, I'm always going to see him shirtless with a, a baseball cap backwards doing pull-ups. Really? I, I think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> Yeah, let, let's not even. Hey, fellas, my, my, yeah, my yeah, mom just let, called. Let, I gotta let, go. Let's not even play that game. Y'all know where I'm going with this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, seriously. Good vibrations. Either way you go, bro. Yeah, either way anyway. you go, I'm gonna see him jumping off, saying, "Now the rhythm, the rhythm." Yeah, I, I'm never gonna buy you. Well, I, I'm gonna have to agree with uh, Javon on this one. Uh, I, I just watched like the Boston uh, bombing movie. And Mark Wahlberg played Mark Wahlberg in every other movie ever. Honestly, Mark, honestly, I'm not even hating. If they keep giving you money to do what you do, keep doing it, man. I am not hating money. Right. Doesn't he have the same but, face that he makes in, like, the reality show he has? You know, the walls or whatever it is? Yeah, Isn't that some reality show where they get the burgers? and? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mark, he's, Mark he's, Wahlberg he's, does not have to have range. I mean, that's the thing. He doesn't need to have range or layers, man. He just say, hey, you do Mark Wahlberg, we'll make money. So for sure, for real, honestly, it's not changing. Bad Boys 3 is coming, and it's Bad Boys for life. Ugh. Yo, I don't care how much hate you all want to throw on this movie. I am excited about my man Martin Lawrence getting a paycheck. I'm excited that Will Smith took a, took some time away from making blockbusters like Bright to reunite <laughs> with his boy. And, oh, my fault. After Earth, baby. Right. Exactly. This this is well overdue. I'm ready to see them rekindle their magic and just shoot off, and we get a cool Michael Bay slow rotation around them as they just kind of stand up. Come on, money. I'm there. Yeah. You you killed it by saying reminding me Michael Bay actually was good at one. You movie. really did for me. Yeah, like, oh. hey, Mike, Michael Bay can blow stuff up just fine. He knows how to do that. Yeah, man. Hey. Mm-mm-mm. All right, I'll so leave right out of it. Moving on. Last, last bit of news here. So if you guys have been watching Lethal Weapon on Fox, there's going to be some changes if it gets to season three. Uh, Clayne Crawford is no longer in the role. They have decided they had enough of his backstage shenanigans, and they are going to recast his role. Uh, Chief, did you say what? this? Yeah. The white guy is out? He's out. Yeah. Oh wow! So he's the most interchangeable one. Who is that dude anyway? I thought 
that haven't watched it that a lot of people thought he was pretty good. Uh, they actually had good chemistry. Who is he? Has he been in anything? Like, uh, that can Leave the weapon on Fox. That's been about the gist of it. <laughs> oh, that show I don't watch? <laughs> yeah, that one. Got it. <laughs> so, I'd like uh, to weigh in on that because I watched that show. All right. What you got, man? Um... I never really thought he and Dwayne, Dwayne, I was about to call him Dwayne Wayans, there's so many of them. I never th- really thought that he and um, Damon Wayans had chemistry like that. I never really saw it. Oh. I just thought that these were two actors acting. You can tell when people got chemistry because they just feed off, they vibe off of each other. And with those two, like Martin with Lawrence Damon and Will Smith, yes. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, well, we ain't going to talk about that. It's just <laughs> 15 years too late. Um with those two, these are just two actors doing a job. Damon Wayans is the kind of guy, you put somebody with chops next to him, you got gold. And right, so who should they put? They don't have that. Who, who would you who should they put? Gig, somebody whose movie career may not be popping right now, but could go on the show. Thomas Chain? Yeah. I'd like to see Bruce Willis again. Him yeah. and Bruce Willis again. They just didn't get along. Let's see. Outside of, let, let's stick to TV today. Who do you guys have for nominees for the dumbest TV character this week? Chief, you got anybody? The dumbest TV character? Yes, sir. Uh, man, I, I, I just... <laughs> As always, man, I, I think I'm just going to give it up to the Flash crew. They're all of them. <laughs> the whole crew. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and to be honest, man, it was painful as hell to watch the uh my man play all those different parts uh <laughs> oh, yes. on yeah. Flash. Wells, the council uh, first thing, the the Wells, the Wells guys, all the I Wells. Yeah. All the Dude. Wells. Dude. All the Wells, man. That that whole scene that whole part was just painful to <laughs> I couldn't figure out why they I, I don't know, man. And like I said, this is now, for whatever reason, they're without a smart hat and so on and so forth. They're figuring out what uh, what what my man is doing. So now they're appearing at the same time he's appearing, right? And they're still taking losses. <laughs> you are still taking a loss. I mean, you come in the joint, you've got him on the ropes, and you take a loss. I mean, what was that thing with Cisco? He's he's got his powers on the girl, yeah. and then she flips him. Yeah, I'm like, yo, know, what what is this? Why, why, why are y'all still taking losses, man? I mean, y'all still are out there taking losses, and this is that whole that whole that whole part made no sense. It made no sense. And then the the the, the 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 was this the one with the delivery girl shows up at the door? No, that was last. No, one. that was last one. Well, we didn't even talk about that. She shows up at the last. I mean, that's what I'm saying. So that's your uh, girl. There's no yeah. note. Well, someone did something, and th- this is not from so and so because this basket is old. And, <laughs> and I'm like, yo, <laughs> why are y'all still out here losing? So. I mean, like, think about people getting killed, right? Mm -hmm. So the whole thing when you go to kill somebody is you get there, you know where they're going to be at, you go to where they're they're at, and then you kill them. You're right? So usually nine times out of ten that works because the person isn't expecting you to show up. The Flash team, they get first they they get there late. (laughs) So they figured out, and for whatever reason, they don't show up on time. He beats them there, shrinks the damn computers on them. You know what I mean? So as soon as you figured it out, you think these guys would have been like, you know what? Let's get over there right away and destroy these computers. Not Team Flash. Mm-mm. Not Team Flash. They get out there. They're late. They, they're they late. They get the jump on them. Then old girl flips Cisco, you know? Then, was it stupid? Did, is it me or did Cisco bring up with a bad joint? I, yeah. Cisco, yeah. You ain't even doing you ain't even doing no numbers like that. This whole these whole <laughs> these whole time This yes. whole time we've been watching you, you've been failing. Everything you. you got. So 
you got a you got another dimension chick who now it's not enough for you no more. Like you you've been getting girls crying. coming at you. Crying though. Oh, I was texting was texting Jason this whole thing. I'm like, yeah. I'd have, yo, I'd have made it work. I'd have done the long distance thing. I'd have made it work. We'd have figured this joint right. out. Hey, I can go across worlds every day. So, hey, if you want to wake up next door, just, hey, when your shift's over, go in the bed. What the hell? Come on. Dude, right. What are his hours of jump yeah, yeah, you, you can just pop up in a room and show them coming over tonight. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm here. What up? That's the best call in the world. Like, hey, I'm, I'm, hey, can I walk over to your house? Sure. I ain't going to travel. It takes me no time. Come on. Great idea. Right. So you don't know what this I'm talking about. So, <laughs> what? This, this is what I'm saying. The losses. <laughs> this is what I'm adding to. The losses, dude. So you break up with your woman that you can see when you want to because you got magical power, but you don't. <laughs> it's not enough no more. I, listen, the whole team flash is just, they just, this whole season, I don't even know, like, can, can someone name a victory? Who do what, like? What did they do this season? Like, who did they beat? Did they beat anybody? They beat the nuclear guy, but that's not one of those dudes. And the nuclear guy is just a friendly dude. That's like, oh crap, I got powers. It sucks. And he got caught. <laughs> he got caught. Right. He got killed anyway, didn't he? Or did he get away? He's still alive, I think. He's alive, but like Argus Flash, whatever that Devoe has. So. Oh. Yeah. Dude, that's the so the whole side team gets just hey, a big L. L. It, yeah, the L, man. They get a they get a they get a big <laughs> weak loser with 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 Supergirl following right second with her with her performance and the silliness from from them from them jokers. You know what I mean? I don't even know why Martian Manhunter is even there. They get punked out. I mean, I I don't even know, dude. Like, why are you even here? So. <laughs> I, listen, I have no words. I, I, like I said, man, I'm not even mad at Supergirl no more. I just be like, yeah, all right, it is what it is, you know. Mm-mm. Like I'm off my soap bobber. Yo, enjoy yourself. I like how you went for ten minutes and then said I ain't got no words. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best. All right, James, how about you? I, I, I was gonna get in on Barry for just. Like, hey, why do I need Iris to tell me how to use my powers? Like, it isn't like it's Harrison Wells back in season one. Like, how do you, hey, you've got poison in you. Phase through it. I'm going to talk about my favorite punching bag, but this isn't about Supergirl, per se. It's like, how are they patting themselves on the back? Like, oh, we got rid of two world killers. Oh, yeah, we see the little, like, air aura is in the one person we thought we can handle. But we're just going to let that drive. I'm sure that'll work out best for us. Because she was the one who was beating Mm -hmm. up Supergirl. And the other one is like dripping poison and actually creates the whole plague that kills everybody. I'm sure that'll work out well. Let's let's go back to the future. I'm sure we won't have to deal with anything. Actually, I'm going to take it off Supergirl. Let's just give it to our lovely legion of superheroes. Quote, unquote. Listen, listen, hold on. Does 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 what's the name? What's what's the girl's name? Blight. What what is her name? The 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 poison the po- the poisonous girl. Testament. Right. Testament. Whatever her name. Whatever her name is. Right. So when you looking at them, none of them wear none of them wear masks. Right. Except for Rain. <laughs> Except for Rain. So why the hell yeah. didn't the other girl recognize her? <laughs> right. Because she's seen her before. Because she's fought her. In the in the in the three you know century three thousand whatever the hell it is this girl doesn't they don't want her back so she's in there you're putting up a a a, a, a gosh damn force field to stop her from getting in <laughs> and and she's like yo what are you doing like oh, why don't you recognize the girl a thousand years ago she's that's involved what, that's what I'm saying about that's what I'm saying about DC though that like yo do some research don't y'all see this. How is it that I see this, and you guys do the episode and you don't see this? Yo, so I have a question. If you fought somebody before, you... Uh, Gunner, how about you? Oh, the judge on Arrow. My man crashed the roof as a dead man, took off his mask, he's a dead man, case dismissed. Nah, well, uh, well, we got to do some special cases, some weird legal precedents that I ain't even heard of before ever. I'm sitting here like a TV or in real life. I'm like, what? So he's no, cool, that was but he's not cool. Was, 
I know, but I never heard of it. Who cares? My point is, my point is, it's supposed to be a superhero show. Like, <laughs> how I got to go to a law book to understand what the heck happened? Whack. This ain't no. This ain't soup. This isn't. You know what I mean? Law and what I gotta go through legal precedents to understand what the heck happened. I shouldn't have to Wikipedia what the heck he said. It's Arrow. Mm-hmm. The dude crashed through exactly. the roof, landed, took off the mask, and was like, "Yo, I'm a dead dude." Nope, I'm actually Chance, whatever his name is, Chance the Rapper. <laughs> oh God. Nope, I'm the other cat too. Uh, nope, I'm just. Oh, oh nope, I'm still Chance, Chris Chance. That's me. I don't know, man. The case should have been dismissed. I don't even understand why they even kept going with Clearly, it's not Oliver Queen. No, maybe he has somebody using his fake face. That was ridiculous. I was like... He was under Diego's payroll, so he had to keep it going. But it was ridiculous. Shot him. That's right. When the dude just crashed through the window, like, yo, I'm in the uniform. Right, exactly. I got the face of a dead dude who used to live in the Dilly City, who was the son of Malcolm Merlin, who we all know was, 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 you know... A bad dude, shady dude that shot arrows too. So obviously, if I did some deduction, like, well, you know how to shoot arrows, and you know how to shoot arrows, and you know how to shoot arrows, and you're probably arrows. Javon, what you got? Um, I don't know, man. It seems like every week somebody from one of these uh, CW shows makes it onto this list, and they're hard to beat, man. Cause it, it just seems like they're just wilding out. They're just doing whatever they want to do. So my picks never come close, but I got to pick somebody. <laughs> um. <laughs> It's going to sports world. It's going to be the 76ers coaching staff as a whole because down a stretch in that, what was that, game uh, four? Or was that game five from the other day? That was game three. From Saturday? Because we had game four. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll give that bonus to the Sixers staff because why is Joel Embiid going for the inbound? The inbound? Draw up an inbound play and keep your seven-footer around the basket. He should never be coming out there to get the ball. That's all I got. Good deal. All right, fellas. That that did it. Super size episode. Uh, big shout out to Dwayne for coming in, hanging out with us, talking about cartoons that y'all need to watch. So if, if none of those sound familiar, pull up Netflix, pull up YouTube, get to work, and I'll let us know what you think. Fellas, thanks for dropping in as always. Okay, I'm back on this end. Hopefully you enjoyed the show. I was talking about the CW shows, 80s, 90s cartoons, and you are checking daily at lylesmoviefiles.com. I have just seen and written my review for Deadpool 2. The embargo is still up, so I can't officially post the review yet, but look for that early next week. Also, I'm going to see Solo very shortly next week, and I have heard some good things. I'm actually more excited about seeing this movie. And, uh, yeah, so it's looking like this rest of May is going to be good for movies for everybody. Hopefully that trend continues in June. For now, that's all here at Lyle's Movie File Studio. Hope you and yours are having a great weekend. Hope you had a nice Mother's Day if you're listening to this afterwards. This episode of Lyle's Movie Files has been filed.